your concept will be clear this is a question of ugc net 2023 december 2023 december ugc net question it is not only ugc net question it is the question of isro also same question they ask in isro also same question and just they change the value here instead of 3 they change it to 4 means those who are preparing for isro exam nic exam for everyone this class will be helpful okay so can you tell me what will be the answer here i can see all those who are live here sathya manikam sarnalipsha bashanti lakshmi vidya rekha lekka pitshya krishti bala vinita chalo then tell me what will be the answer i am waiting for your answer and i am sure about that how many of you will do this answer yes answers are coming answers are coming those who are answering they did with me and that's why they are answering <laughs> i know that you are answering because you did it previously in our paid course there are some students those who are giving the correct answer correct answer is this one but most of the students will do mistake those who don't know they will do mistake with this one 25 this is a very common mistake because you will do here mistake why you will think that b equals to 3 so here i am doing b plus 2 means i am sending here is q r 5 that is you will do 3 plus 2 equals to 5 after that you will think that yes x equals to 5 then x multiply x equals to 25 but that is totally wrong this is totally wrong 25 is not the answer answer will be 11 right so why the answer is 11 because here you should not do this calculation at the time of passing argument don't do any calculation here just send it like an string like and whatever as it is you will have to send it as it is that is b plus true means you have to send it 3 plus 2 here as a argument you will send here 3 plus 2 so you will get here 3 plus 2 x equals to 3 plus 2 now in this place you will do here 3 plus true that is x multiply x that is 3 plus 2 multiply 3 plus 2 don't put bracket here again you will do the mistake if you are putting bracket here 3 plus 2 multiply 3 plus 2 if you are putting the bracket you will do 5 multiply 5 that will be again wrong don't put any bracket according to the bot mass rule we according to bot mass rule we know that first we have to do the multiplication then we have to do the addition that's why you have to perform this multiplication first that is 6 then 3 then plus then 2 so finally your answer will come 11 3 plus 6 is 9 plus 2 that is 11 that's why your answer will be here 11 this is a most common mistake of the student 25 those who will do they will do the mistake this is a very popular question not only ugc net isro also asks the same question and other exam are also asking this type of same question because examiner knows that you will do this type of mistake so those who are live i hope you understand this concept and those who will watch the recording later please write down in the comment section yes i will not do this mistake in exam hall this is a common mistake so write down in comment section so that it will be right in your mind also okay understand this mistake i will not do now tell me what will be the next answer for this one do this one what will be the answer those who are watching please click on the like button i know that you should like it you should like it so this is question number 2 question number 2 what will be the answer of question number 2 okay answers are coming question number 2 
those who need some time sometimes students are commenting ma'am give some time so if you need some time you can pause the video you can check then again you can play right i have to go a little bit faster but if you need the time you can pause it you can think it and then you can play again that will be better for you if you need the time so here your answer will be option 2 is the correct answer why this is option 2 this is the concept of pointer pointer concept right so the pointer when it is the ptr star ptr is a pointer this pointer is pointing where this is an array that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 this is the array this pointer is pointing to a r r plus 2 that is 0 1 2 3 4 a r r plus 2 plus 2 means it will point here this ptr will point here this is the location for ptr now virtually now you have to think that i i is 1 so ptr1 virtually you have to think now my array started from here in this location from here this array is started you have to think like that so this is location 0 this is 1 this is 2 the ptr started from here this is the ptr this is the base address for ptr that's why whenever ptr i i value is 1 that is actually ptr1 ptr1 means what ptr1 means 3 that's why here it is 3 ptr i plus 1 that is what ptr this is actually ptr 2 so ptr 2 is where ptr 2 is here that is 4 that's why it is 4 now ptr minus i ptr minus i means it is it will come to the base address minus 1 whatever my base address minus 1 so minus 1 means this is coming to 1 and ptr minus i plus 1 minus i plus 1 means it will be where that will be coming to this position 2 right is it is it is this correct ptr minus i if i am doing minus i then where it will come i equals to 1 i equals to 1 so i am doing minus i minus i means 0 right is it 0 is that 0 where it is coming it is asking you to the increasing order increasing order of the input what is the increasing order of the input here it is what minus i plus 1 so minus i plus 1 minus i means 0 minus i plus 1 means it will be the next one that is 0 plus 1 right so here your answer will be this is pointing to the minus i that is 1 and this is pointing to the minus i plus 1 that is 2 so that's why whenever you are pointing to this one your answer will be c d then a then b these are the answer because base address minus i base address minus i means that is this one that is 1 then again minus i plus 1 that is this one that is 2 so that's why 1, 2 and 3 and 4. So your answer will be this one according to the increasing order. Now this is your question number 3. Now tell me what will be the answer for this one. Question number 3. Tell me what will be the answer for this one. I will request pause the pause it and some students are going so faster 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 how they are doing faster do you know because they are the paid students and they did this question previously already and that's why they are giving the correct answer like those who are live here Muthu everyone those who are giving correct answer Manikam uh, Muthu Mil Vidya uh, Lopa Nivedita Banita Satya, Krishti, Vidya, 
all are here everyone is giving option 3 is the correct answer and this is the correct answer if you want to join our paid course in unify study visit unify study here this is our website you can visit the unify study website so that you can also do the super fast way because here regular practice we are doing now super 20 using that 20 percent discount also you can get go to the paid course visit the website you can see this payment here if you are this is the three month now this is three month two month is also there one month is also there as per your requirement you can go for it if you go for this view details you can see here if you click on this buy now you can see one month this is the two month this one and three month this one so according to your requirement you can go here this is complete course for computer science and if you need to do the paper 1 and paper 2 both then this is the combo course in the combo course also 1 month 2 month 3 month all options are there according to your requirement you can go for it and now using super 20 you can get that 20 percent discount this is going on now now every time it is not going on now it is going on if you are interested you can do it definitely now here i am going to this answer why this is the answer i am going to explain you here the answer is this one why here also the pre increment and post increment is working here this is i equals to 3 now you will see that normally you will think that answer is this one most of the student will do that answer is 990 but the answer is not 990 i am telling you why because you will do here i equals to 3 now i minus minus means value is 2 now this is 9 so i will print here uh, i minus minus means this is 9 now now i will print here 9 after that this value will be 1 then again 9 then this value will be 0 i will come out and so i will print here 0 so my answer will be 990 and that will be a big mistake it is not like this why it is because there is a difference between pre-increment and post-increment. Here the difference is pre-increment and post-increment. How the pre-increment and post-increment is working, I am telling you that. See that this is post-decrement. Post-decrement means first get the value, after that do the decrement. Means when it will come to this one, first it will take 3 after that it will enter into the loop and when it is coming out from the loop when it is equals to 0 then it will come out from the loop as it is not equals to 0 it will enter into the loop and it will check after that this will be 2 after means first condition is done according to the condition it will send that okay you can enter into the loop then it will be 2 so that's why here your answer is here you can see this is i equals to 10 i minus minus that is 9 i am going to print here 9 after that it will come back it will see that 2 now 2 means it will go for the operation now this will be 1 now it will print again 9 now it will again go as it is 1 it will start working then it will be decremented to 0 now it is 9 because it is true already it will check it is true as per the 1 after that it will come here now it is 0 that is false now this will be decremented to minus 1 now this is decremented to minus 1 as this is decremented to minus 1 now it will be happen that okay finally i am printing here minus 1 so finally my answer is 999 minus 1 that is the answer that's why my answer will be 999 minus 1 this is post decrement if i am doing i i minus i i 3 minus minus i that is pre pre decrement first it will be decremented then it will work but as it is post 